Remote playing your PS5 games on the Steam Deck when you're away from home has just gotten so much easier thanks to a huge update for an application called Chiaki for Deck. In order to do this before, you had to configure a bunch of different settings on your router, have a custom script that runs on your Steam Deck, and it was just overly complicated, especially for someone who isn't really familiar with networking terms. Well now, thankfully, that is no longer the case. Chiaki NG, formerly known as Chiaki for Deck, has just had a huge update to allow you to set up remote connection and local connection to your PS5 within just a few clicks, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. So before I show you guys the new process, let me take a couple seconds just to show you what the old process looked like. So right now I'm on Chiaki's documentation page and I'll make sure to leave a link to this in the description, but this is what it took in order to get manual remote connection when you're away from home. First, you needed to set up a static IP for your PS5, then you needed to enable port forwarding, and there was a whole nother guide just to set up port forwarding for your specific router. After that, you needed to grab the specific port and plug it into your router. Then you needed to find your router's IP address, and then you needed to test the connection all after that, hoping that it worked. Now let's walk through how easy the new setup process is, and I'm gonna start from the very beginning. First, you wanna make sure that your Steam Deck is in desktop mode. Right now, I have my Mac connected to my Steam Deck using Steam Link so that I can show you guys and type things in a little bit easier, but this is completely optional. You don't need to use Steam Link. You can do everything on your Steam Deck. To install Shiaki, you wanna to go to the Discover Store, which is this little button right here on your Steam Deck. You wanna type in the search Chiaki, and the first one that should come up is Chiaki for Deck. This is the one that you wanna download, not the regular Chiaki. Be sure you are downloading Chiaki for Deck. I already have it installed, so we don't need to do that. If you already have it installed, you don't need to do that either. Next, you wanna make sure that your PS5 has remote play enabled. To do that, you need to turn on your PS5, go to settings, then system, and then remote play, and make sure enable remote play is turned on. You also wanna make sure that you're able to actually wake up your console from the network when it's in rest mode and you're away from home. And to do that, on your PS5, you're gonna to need to go to settings, then system, power saving, features available in rest mode, and make sure these two settings are turned on. The first one, stay connected to the internet, and the second one, enable turning on PS5 from network. So now that we've installed Chiaki and set up our PS5 for remote play, we're gonna wanna go back to the Steam Deck and just open up the Chiaki app. So you wanna go click the start menu in the bottom left hand corner and type in Chiaki and it should come up as Chiaki NG. This is the new name for the app. Once you have Chiaki open, your PS5 and all of its information should come up right here on the home screen. If you don't see your PS5 here, that means something went wrong and maybe your Steam Deck and your PS5 are not actually on the same network and you need to make sure that they're on the same network when you first set this up. Your PS5 should say unregistered right here and that just means that it hasn't been set up for remote play on your Steam Deck yet. We're gonna click into that and start the registration process. Now you'll see things like your host name, your PSN account ID, remote play pin, all of these fields are super easy to fill in. I'm gonna take you through it right now. The host is your PS5's IP address and that should already be filled in for you, so no need to do anything there. This part is really important. The PSN account ID is not your regular username that's on your PS5. It's actually a specific key that PSN uses to identify your account. And to get that key, you're gonna to need to log into the PlayStation Network on your Steam Deck. So we're gonna choose the PSN login option. Once you choose the PSN login option, you should see your browser come up and it's gonna ask you to sign into PlayStation. So we're gonna put our information here. I'm gonna put my email address and I'm gonna put my password, not now. I have two-step verification enabled. So now I also need to get my code. One second, just getting the code from my phone. We're gonna click verify and now we get this redirect page, right? On this redirect page, we're gonna to need to copy this URL here because this is the URL that we're gonna to use to paste in to Chiaki for Dex. So click the URL, we're gonna right click, go to copy, open up Chiaki, and click to paste the URL here. We're gonna click this button, and now we see that it's filled in, and then we just click this get account ID in the top right hand corner. All right, now we're good. As you can see, Chiaki was able to retrieve your PlayStation account ID. It's this weird looking text right here. Trust me, this is the one that works. But more importantly, this will enable you to also play your PlayStation when you're away from home, or when you're connected to your home local network. Now the last step that we need to do is type in the remote play pin here. To get this, you wanna to go to your PS5, go to settings, then system, and then scroll down to remote play, and then go to link device. When you press link device, this code will pop up on your screen, and you're gonna to need to type that same code from your PS5 on your Steam Deck. 
So I'm going to do that right now. After you type in your code, you also want to make sure that the console is PS5. And in the top right hand corner, we're going to click register. And that's it. Now you can see in Chiaki that we have successfully registered our PlayStation 5 because it no longer says unregistered here. But you'll notice that we have two PlayStation 5s here. And you're probably wondering what that is, right? So the first one, you want to use this one when you're connected to your local network, right? And when you're away from home connected to a different network, the second one will say remote connection via PSN. This is the one that you want to use to connect to your PlayStation when you're away from home. Now I'm going to show you that this actually works by doing a quick test to connect to my PS5 when I'm miles away from home. All right, so we are away from home. I'm at a hotel. I want to show you that the new Chiaki NG remote play to connect to your PS5 works. So we're going to go, we're opening up Chiaki NG and we're going to select the remote connection via PSN because this is the one that we want to choose to connect when we're away from home. So let's double click that, establishing connection. And this will depend on how good your internet connection is. Right now I'm connected to the hotel Wi Fi, which I assume isn't very good. So we're going to see. Here we go. Yes, look at that. Actually, it's not too bad. I'm pressing the button, as you can see, and it's not, there's really no lag at all. As soon as I press the button, I can't even notice any lag between me pressing the button and this home screen moving. So, yeah, that's it. Chiaki NG, this is really good. It's so much easier to set up than the old way. You don't have to go through the port forwarding or anything. And now you can play your PlayStation 5 away from home. Now, if this process doesn't work for you and you're still unable to connect to your PS5 when you're away from home, that means that unfortunately you still have to use the manual setup process and I'll make sure to leave a link to those steps in the description. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel. Here we talk about games, gadgets, tech. I'm just a really nerdy guy who loves tech. Have a good one and I'll catch you next time.